in this uh, video i am going to talk about how do i use the show me feature in tableau which really drives a lot of visualizations one of the powerful components of tableau is the show me feature we have already seen that or let me just open up okay this feature is what we are calling as the show me feature so it's a toolbar you click on it it is showing you the small thumbnail images of different kinds of visualizations that you can create using tableau you see here at the bottom there is a naming for this written now if you go from here it's a text table this is a heat map this is a highlight table pie chart filled map symbol map horizontal bars stacked bars <coughs> side by side bars right side by side circles circle views tree map lines again lines different dual lines dual combinations area charts area charts then uh, we have uh, scatter plot histogram box and whisker plot packed bubble we have bullet graph and we have a gantt view so there are so many different kinds of charts that can be plotted and that entire thing is given by the show me feature so it talks about different kinds of visualizations which you can create using a single click itself that is what makes it more and more powerful and based on the fields that you select another interesting aspect is based on the fields that you select tableau directly tries out the recommended visualization for you all the possible visualizations we'll talk about it so if i have selected field 1 and field 2 let's say i have selected one date and i have selected uh, let's say one measure so as so the show me tab will actually show different kinds of visualizations that are feasible with this selection and out of this which of them is it is recommending so both of them will be shown to us let's explore that right let's say in a fresh data sheet i am selecting two or three fields so let me select let's say the area code the moment i have selected the area code you could see here all others are grayed out only these two are enabled right the symbol map and uh, uh, so the symbol map and uh, the, the field maps are the ones that are enabled but on the other side let's say i just select uh, profit now you see something else is enabled right all others are disabled there is uh, one kind of a histogram that is enabled and a horizontal bar that is enabled all others are disabled so depending on what is the field that we are selecting tableau is actually showcasing the list of visualizations that are possible to be created with your selected data and along with that which one is recommended now it has highlighted something in blue for us here by default though this one and this one both of them look enabled this one is highlighted with a blue border that means tableau is recommending horizontal bar chart for that kind of a data now let's look at some more let's say along with profit i select date also profit and date together now there are so many charts that it is highlighting but out of them it is saying this one is uh, uh, there are so many charts that are enabled but out of them the blue border is around this line chart so it is recommending that it's better that you go with a line chart for this now let's say profit versus market right i don't have the date profit and the market 
now it's showing different kinds of charts but out of that it has selecting a horizontal bar chart so that is the one it is recommending but all other charts now heat maps and all are not enabled but the other ones are enabled and the horizontal bar is the one that it is showing by default similarly let's uh, select let's say area code state and let's say profit then it is talking of so many charts but right it has enabled so many things but out of that it is really recommending that you go with that you go with the symbol map so like this what you see is the show me is using a lot of intelligence based on how individuals actually perceive the data and based on that it is uh, giving you some kind of recommendations of what kind of chart is more suitable for that kind of data that you have selected so at every point in time depending on what we are selecting it is enabling some types of visualizations and so whichever it has enabled they are all possible but along with that it is highlighting one of them with a blue border saying that this is the most recommended one now the other thing let's look at just pointing your cursor on each one of them okay put let me put my cursor here what is it showing at the bottom per symbol maps try one geo dimension so i need to have one geometric dimension geographic dimension zero or more dimensions so if you add zero or more dimension so you may have one or more from this or zero or more and zero to two measures that is where it is enabling a symbol map similarly if i am talking about uh, a field map it is saying one ge geographic dimension zero or more dimensions zero or one measures that is what it wanted uh, for a plotting of uh, the map for a field map similarly uh, you could uh, try out let's say heat map it is saying one or more dimensions one or two measures that is where the heat map is getting created so for a different kind now horizontal bar zero or more dimensions one or more measures so it is clearly giving out what kinds of fields are really needed for that particular kind of visualization right and all other visualizations are grayed out based on the data it based on the data and the field it is really highlighting one or more kinds of visualizations and others are grayed out so show me uh, uh, typically uh, highlights only the ones which are more and more feasible okay then so we have typically uh, drawn for different kinds of selections so basically if i really understand the functionality of show me it's very very powerful and it is quick it is giving me that kind of indication in terms of which chart is suitable for what kind of data but in some cases what could happen is you may want to use your own intelligence because you are a data explorer you are a data analyst you are a storyteller so sometimes because of your experience it might very well be possible that you might feel this particular chart is very apt for this kind of a data so you can still use show me as an aid but it's not mandatory that you have to restrict yourself to this sometimes there could be some chart which you really visualize as one of the best for this kind of a data but probably tableau is not supporting that kind of a chart so those kind of things are very much possible so one simple suggestion that i would like to give in this context is at least if you are able to go with the show me feature and try to understand all the charts and plot the data accordingly you are to a large extent learned the art of data visualization you are going more and more closer towards mastering the world of data visualization but if that visualization is not there 
what is the kind of chart you might build think first in that dimension so that the control and the comfort comes for you show me is always good at quick iterative visualization that you can really create it can help you to raise new questions start digging into the data more and more basically you can start with a standard visualization and you can start digging deeper and deeper but at the same time as a word of caution don't directly simply use it blindly without understanding how the visualizations are actually built from the data so take your own time to evaluate why a certain visualization is possible why something is not possible so basically get the conceptual understanding behind the plotting of each and every kind of a chart that will really take you to the next level in the learning curve rather than blindly saying oh show me has given me this chart as a recommendation so let me plot it that could limit your growth to a certain extent only so you can very well play around with the different kinds of visualizations that show me is telling to get an initial hold of different kinds of visualizations coming out of the data all right so we'll look at uh, this usage of show me more and more even in our uh, even in our future uh, uh, sessions so for this just introducing you to the feature of show me thanks a lot for listening to this uh, session thank you very much